Hello, this is a key cloak tutorial on per application roles and composite roles. In this tutorial, you are going to secure two browser applications that talk to a secured REST database backend service. We're going to use per application roles to provide permissions for these applications and REST services. After we demo this, we're going to change things up a bit and use a composite role instead of per application roles to assign permissions to a user. The code for this tutorial is basically the same code that was used in the basics tutorial in a previous screencast. There are two applications, a customer portal and a product portal. They each talk to a backend database REST service to either specify a customer listing or a product listing. So let's get to work. We're going to go to the Keycloak Administration Console first. Okay, so I'm logged into the Keycloak Administration Console. Now, you, from previous tutorials, you might have the demo realm all set up. What I want you to do is I want you to delete this realm. So go to the Settings section and click Delete Realm to get rid of demo. And what we're going to do is we're going to re recreate demo so that um, we can define per application roles instead of uh, realm level roles like we had in the old tutorial. So I'll create a new realm called demo. And the first thing I'm going to do is I need to define applications. I'm going to define my customer portal application. Specify redirectory URL. Save the customer listing and another application product portal. Product portal slash star. Whoops, I forgot to click add. And we need to create the database application. It's bare only. Click save. Okay, all, all of our applications are now defined. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to define per application roles for each one of these applications that we just created. In our previous tutorials, we used the realm level roles that we defined under the roles menu item here. What we're going to do differently in this tutorial is we're going to define specific roles per application. So let's first go to the customer portal and you'll see a roles submenu item here. I'm going to click on that. We're going to add a role, and we're going to call our role customer user. Click Save. Uh, go back to the application listing. We'll go to Product Portal. We'll go to the Roles submenu item. Click Add Role, and we'll call our new role product user. Click Save. Go back to the application listing. Go to Database. Go to the Roles tab here, click Add Role, and we'll specify Database User Role Name. Click Save. Okay, so now for all of our applications, we have defined some application level roles. The next thing we need to do is we have to define an actual user and put do some role mappings to these new roles that we created. Okay, to do that, we're going to go to the uh, Users menu item here. We're going to click Add User. Our username is going to be bburke. Email is going to be bburke at Red Hat. Click Save. I'm going to set up the credentials for this user. My password is going to be Bill, a really secure password. Next, we're going to go to Role Mappings for the user. We're going to click that. Um, the roles live under the, each of the applications, so go down to application roles here. Select the customer portal. Assign the customer user role. Go to product portal. Assign the product user. Go to database and assign that role. Okay, so we're all set here. Now, 
the next thing we have to do is we have to configure the applications and build and deploy them to the application server. Okay, for this tutorial, um, we're going to use the same exact code as we used in other tutorials. So the, the code lives under examples slash unconfigured demo. And if I do an LS here, you see all the projects. I'm going to bring up these projects in my favorite IDE IntelliJ. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the customer portal application. And we're going to go to its web.xml file. And what we need to do is we need to change the role names here to from user to customer user. And we also may need to make sure that the auth method is key cloak. Click save. Another thing we have to do is we have to create a keycloak.json file in webinf, so we'll click on that. And um, here we have an old one from our old tutorial. I want you to delete that stuff. And we need to go back to the keycloak administration console so we can get cut and paste that configuration stuff. Okay, we'll go to applications, go to customer portal, go to installation, select the format, keycloak.json, cut and paste it. So this is really the same thing as the other tutorials. And we're going to go back to IntelliJ and cut and paste to the keycloak.json file. Click Save. We got to do the same thing with the product app. That XML. Oops. Change the user role name to product user. Change our JSON file. Go back to the customer. Go back to product portal, go to installation, get the keycloak.json file from it. Cut and paste. One thing I want to show you here is um, this file is only different from the other tutorial we did in that it has a new configuration item, use resource role mappings. This is telling the adapter to use um, application level roles for the product portal rather than using realm real level roles to determine permissions for this servlet. Okay, so product app is done. And now the last one we have to do is the database one. Go into web to XML, change user to database user. JSON, clean this out. Database installation, click that JSON, cut and paste it. Now we're ready to build the app. So to build the app, so go to this directory, maven clean install jboss as deploy. And this will build all the projects that we just configured. Okay, now that we're, we've built and deploy everything, we can actually test it out. So let's go back to our browser, open up a new tab, and we'll go to customer portal. Click on a customer listing. Our username is bburke, password is bill. Really secure password. Click login, and you see we got our customer listing. And we can get our product listing. Okay, let me log out, and we're going to do something new now. This time uh, we're going to talk about composite roles. So let's go back to the Keycloak Administration Console. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set up a composite role. Composite roles are like a role group. You can turn any defined role into a composite role by associating different roles with it. When a user is assigned a composite role, they are also implicitly assigned any role associated with that composite. Again, it's a lot like a role group in other products. So one, one thing that was kind of a pain is when we did our user role mappings, we had to go to each application and assign a, a role from each one of those applications. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to create a realm level role called user. Click 
quick save. And I'm going to make this a composite roll. I'm going to do that by turning the composite roll switch on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. And I'm going to associate the customer portal, customer user role to this realm level user role. I'm going to assign product user to this realm level role and the database user. Okay, so this realm level role user now has a database user associated with it, customer portal user associated with it, and product user role associated with it. So if I create a new user, let's call it Key Cloak. Key Cloak. Work. Click Save. I'll create password for it. Now, I've created this new user called Key Cloak, and what you see in realm level those no roles now is the user role. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign this role to the Key Cloak user. And what you will see here is that not only is this role assigned to the user, but the composites for this user role are assigned to Key Cloak as well. So if we click on Customer Portal, we see that its effective role is Customer User as well as the Realm Level Role User. Same thing with Product Portal, same thing with Database. Okay, now that um, the Key Cloak user has been defined and I have signed the Composite Role user, now let's try to log in as Key Cloak. So when I log in as Key Cloak here, um, this user is assigned the realm level role, the realm level composite role named user. So it will also have the product user, customer user, and database user role implicitly assigned to it. So when I log in, I should be able to see all the listings. And there we are. Okay, so that's composite roles. So in this presentation, you learned about um, per application roles as well as composite roles. There's some other screencast tutorials on our website. Hope you enjoyed this one. Please check out some more.